Hi, my name is Deanne Stone. Uh, welcome to Resources for LDS Organists. The members of the Utah Valley chapter of the American Guild of Organists uh, asked me to create a, a brief presentation for their Super Saturday of, the, of my website to give organists an idea of what's contained on it. Uh, a little bit of background information. I was first called to be an organist in 1987 when the Bigelow Tracker organ was first installed in our chapel in the River Grove Third War of the Provo Central Stake. Uh, here on the front page of the of my website, you can see the pipes of that organ. Uh, click right here, and it'll take you to the page that show the specifications and a little bit of background information about me and the organ. Um, back to the home page, um, a little bit of background about how this came to be. Um, when I first started playing the organ and was accumulating more and more music, uh, I. I was having a hard time figuring out where to find uh, the pieces I wanted to play for sacrament meeting or other meetings. And so I started making a list of all the music I had. And I showed this list to my organ teacher, Carol Dean, and she thought it was a good idea and gave me access to uh, the music she had. And I added those to my list. And also Claire Rogers had a wealth of information that she shared with me too that I was able to add to my list. Um, since uh, the beginning, I, it was a 20-page document, and it's now exploded to 450 pages. So there's been a lot added over all these years. Um, over uh, on uh, the uh, left sidebar, I'd like to go through the menu there. Um, on the top, it shows the contents. Uh, the hymn arrangements and free accompaniments, uh, the composer and arranger list, music publishers list, sources of information, and a trivia corner. Uh, under the hymn arrangement list, you click on that page, and it will take you here where it has the alphabet, where you can find the hymns in alphabetical order by clicking on the letter of the alphabet that that hymn uh, title starts with. Uh, so we'll click on G and see where we take this. Uh, go to God of Our Fathers, who's Almighty Hand, and it'll take you down to this part of the page. Over on the left side, you'll see the the page number and then the title and the key that the hymn is written in, the time signature, and the hymn tune name. Um, also the uh, author of the text and the composer of the music. Below that you'll see um, all of those arrangements that I, uh, people who have arranged, uh, made arrangement for that particular hymn, their names listed with the, the uh, book or collection that that hymn is contained in. Uh, you'll also see if, if, I, if it was available the uh, key signature, or if there's more than one, in, in each of the, uh, these arrangements. Uh, you can click on the arranger's name, and it will take you to the composer and arranger's page. We'll click on David Chamberlain's name, and it'll show you all of the arrangements that he has made, and where you can purchase it. You click on that, and it will take you to his website where you can purchase it as is the case for the others and um we'll go back to the front here the front page and uh then the composer and ranger page looks like this when you first land on that page and then you go to music publishers and you can click on here's the information how to contact them if you need to order a book um then there's sources of information and a trivia corner where I uh, uh, was wondering one day how many hymns were written by LDS authors and composers and how many were written by non-LDS authors and composers. So I, I put that there. Uh, it was just the item of interest. Um, I, in the middle of the page is a what is a hymn and what is a hymn tune, what is a free accompaniment, uh, over the years when people have 
uh, ordered my book. They thought a free accompaniment meant there was free music in the book, but there's no music in the book. It's just a list of of uh, what hymns and free accompaniments are available for each of the hymns. Over on the right sidebar, um, these are aids for planning uh, the music, and the top one is the hymn and hymn tune names. The hymn name is on the top, and the hymn tune name is underneath. If you need to have that information, this is also found in the back of the hymnal. Um, then the, it's just the opposite here with the hymn tune on the top and the hymn on the bottom. If you know the hymn tune name but you don't remember which hymn it belongs to, this would be good to know. That's also in the back of the hymnal. Uh, I have uh, hymns by key. If you need to um, know which hymns are on the same key so you can string them together for a prelude or postlude, this would be helpful to do that. So you can easily modulate from one, one hymn to the next if they're in the same key or, or complementary keys. Um, then I have the hymn text down below where if you need to uh, know that have the text for a particular hymn then you can have that there. So I have all the text for the hymns there. Um, then the meters of the keys. There's a discussion of the meters of the hymns. That is the meters of the hymns. And then the topics if you need to have a specific topic for a meeting then they're, they're uh, arrange, all the hymns are in that uh, under those topics um, so that's uh, about it for that page uh, below that I have other organ resources uh, instructional videos uh, these are from AGO right here the main AGO website uh, which are helpful and in, in miscellaneous things below uh, I have organ teachers uh, him playing helps, uh, then a link to the Utah Valley chapter of AGO where we have a, a lot of information there and, uh, of upcoming events and the newsletter archives and helps for organists and uh, handouts from Super Saturdays. There's a lot of information there. Um, and there's some uh, recordings I made back in 1993. Uh, I wanted to record each of the hymns on the big little tracker organ and I didn't quite reach my goal but um, it was a very rewarding experience to do that. Um, there's organ related links and then over on the other side I was in primary forever and so I, I thought I'd do the same um, thing for uh, the primary music as I did for the hymns and so I made a list of all of the um, arrangements that are available for each of the primary songs. And then I have um, flip charts that I've gathered and uh, you, there's several that uh, are useful for primary and um, then there's uh, different ideas and clip art and links to other websites and then the topics for each of the primary songs. Um, in the middle, uh, well, there's uh, other resources too that you go, go to the LDS uh, church uh, page and it's got a lot of information there too. Um, in the middle, um, um, I celebrated my 20th anniversary uh, back in just about 1998. I guess Richard Elliott had asked me to uh, put together an, a website that uh, would contain all the hymn arrangements and everything so it'd be easy for every, everybody to have access to it and so uh, that's what got me started on my website and um, so I 20 years later I have um, and here it is <laughs> and um, so if there are any uh, let's see um, if you'd like to order uh, my booklet you can click here and there's different options uh, to buy it and uh, there for $25 you can get everything and for just the hymn arrangements and accompaniments is in the hymns by key is $10 uh, children's songbooks uh, $3 and the uh, the arrangements that is and the uh, composers and arrangers list is $12 uh, here is a, an example of the PDF of 
uh, my main booklet. It's pretty much like the website. Um, you just click on the arrangements. Uh, you go to the one, you, the hymn you want to find the arrangement for. Uh, you click on the link here. It'll take you to a page to where you can buy it. And uh, then uh, it's got the hymn key. And it's got basically most everything that my website has here. Um, then, um, uh, let's see, go back to the main page here. Uh, so anyway, this is basically a quick overview of my website. Um, if you need to contact me uh, for any questions or suggestions, you can email me at dstone at uvago.org. And the URL for my website is ldsorganist.info. Uh, thank you so much for your time and have a good day.